All right, like we mentioned at the top of the show, an alligator was spotted in West Mifflin yesterday. We thought, hey, we want in on that. So we'll get <laughs> Did we really think that? <laughs> no. So we see your gator and we raise you another reptile. Yeah. Mikey Hood is outside in the traffic circle with Henry from the Pittsburgh That's Zoo. True, and Mikey, we got to hear about this little. Oh, yeah, you're not having oh, it, boy. are you? <laughs> you know. I mean, it's easy for you guys to say because you're inside. I'm out here with uh, um, Henry from uh, the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. He's brought us a cold-blooded creature this morning. Henry, how so are you? I'm doing well. I just want to introduce you to Henry, our Gila monster. Uh, Gila monsters are a pretty cool animal. They're venomous, and uh, their bite is pretty significant. Probably wouldn't die from it probably wish I was dead uh, if I got to bite them. I, my understanding is it's quite painful. They don't make antivenom anymore because not enough stupid people pick them up and handle them. Um, and, <laughs> well, you're holding him. <laughs> well, we have a history. He's actually the oldest known uh, Gila monster in captivity in North America right now. So mm -hmm. he's a, we've had him a long time and he's used to me. Yeah, I see. So you said venomous. That's why I probably will not be holding him today. But uh, tell me a little bit more about him. So does well, you know, one of, the, one of the reasons I actually brought him, mm -hmm. it, he's related to animals like the Komodo dragon. Yeah. They have uh, bones that, these little bumps that are floating their skin. They're, they're a suit of armor. If you see their skeletal structure, uh, if this animal were to pass away, they just have these little, these beads that serve as uh, almost like armor. If you look mm -hmm. at it, it looks exactly like bone armor. And so they're, they're called denticles, and uh, it gives them... Uh, a way of protecting and Komodo dragons have a very similar thing in there. So, you know, there was a connection I'm making. Yeah. We're, we're going to have our Asian Lantern Festival. I and hear. We have a huge dragon lit up silk, um, probably, I don't know, almost 100 feet long. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, plus a lot of other animals. And that starts this Saturday. And after that, it's going to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You go online and you get tickets for less than 20 bucks that's a person. so cool so that's all happening at the pittsburgh zoo now these one of these guys you won't find him walking around pittsburgh but wh where are they native to you'll find these in desert desert southwest uh you know arizona maybe parts of utah and those areas going into mexico actually so yeah. one of two venomous lizards in the world the other one is found in mexico to beat a lizard a little bigger larger than this one actually. are there a lot in the wild still there are not a lot, mm -hmm. um, and that's what makes them sort of, uh, you know, protected in, in the states. They are protected by the states, not by the federal government. Yes, yeah, so I'm assuming that this does not make a good pet. Well, you know, <laughs> speaking of that, not making good pet, we have alligators on a loose again. We sure again. do. <laughs> uh, they don't make good pets either. I'd probably, I'd prefer this animal to an alligator, yeah. to be honest with you, because an alligator, you're looking at an animal that's going to live. 55, 60 years, mm -hmm. go 450 pounds. Um, you know, what do you do with that? It's that's going to outgrow that tank, and uh, the Allegheny River isn't the place to put an no. alligator. No. So, what do you do if you spot an alligator? <laughs> well, one of the things you want to call authorities mm -hmm. uh, if you saw an alligator and try to keep an eye on it. Um, you know, the gator that it's loose, I think, is three feet, and it's probably not particularly dangerous. So, if you're adventuresome, uh, don't grab it. But um, you know, if I saw it, I would grab it, I guess. I'm sure but, you would. You know, you, you want to make sure you can track it and let authorities know where it's at. All right. Good tips. Thank you so much, Henry. All right. Well, we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. It's cold blooded out here this morning. I am not going to. It matches your shirt. N Mikey. Yeah, that's it. That's about Good it wow. this morning. Can I tell you, there is a crazy squirrel behind you. There's like three of them, Mikey. This squirrel They're putting like, on a show as Henry's talking. It's like doing backflips <laughs> behind, behind you. Us. It's like you're the squirrel. They're, yeah. Yeah, they know you're here, Henry. Uh, they will eat ground squirrels in the wild, so <laughs> it's you know not a good idea for a squirrel to get too close. All right, well, you don't see what's going on behind this little guy. <laughs> <You> don't, <laughs> don't get too close, squirrels. Mikey. All right, thanks, Mikey and yeah. Henry. I love how see he calmly guys. says, he says, yeah, they're, they're they, venomous, they and they quit making the anti-venom. <laughs> yeah. Because stupid people stopped <laughs> handling that. <laughs>